Well, folks, I am in a little bit of a predicament here. I may have double booked myself for two exhibitions at the same time. I don't even know how this happened. Well, I do. Let me explain. A couple months ago, I saw two different social media posts. One was from a brewery in Jefferson City, Missouri, and the other was from a distillery in Columbia, Missouri. Both of them were looking for artists to show work because they have new venues and they wanted to cover their walls and also support local artists. Here's what went down. I reached out to both of them at the same time. The brewery said that they already had artists slated for the springtime. The distillery said, we would be interested in showing your work this spring. And I was like, well, this is gonna work out swell. So I said, I will do it. So I was booked for the distillery, kinda. After they told me they wanted me to show my work there, I asked them some questions. I was like, hey, so how much work do you want? How big are your walls? No response. So I'm just sitting here like, maybe this wasn't as formal as I was thinking. I don't really have a contract signed or anything like that, so I guess they'll hit me back when they're ready to show my work. Anyway, several weeks go by and the brewery hits me up again. They were like, hey, our artist for the spring fell through, so you're good to go if you want it. And I was like, huh. Well, this other group hasn't hit me up, so sure, I'll do it. That's my hometown. I have mutual friends with the owners of this brewery. I was like, sure, let's do it. Because as far as I'm concerned, I'm not really booked. A couple days after I said I would show my work with the brewery in Jeff City, the distillery in Columbia hits me up. We'd love for you to show your work in April and May. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what the fuck to do. A few moments later. So after sitting down and being still and allowing the universe to provide the answers to the questions that I have, I thought, why can't I just do both? Luckily, I'm a shit salesman and I'm a workaholic, which is a perfect combination of having a bitch ton of art just sitting around my house. So I'm just gonna go through everything that I have and make an inventory and see exactly how much work that I have to show. Hopefully you'll find some entertainment out of it. Maybe you see something that you like. Maybe you've been wanting some of my art for a while and you just haven't pulled the trigger because you're just really overwhelmed. You look at my Instagram, you're like, he's over here, he's over here. He's doing all this different shit. I don't even know what's for sale, what's not, what was commission. I don't even really know what's fucking going on. It's okay. I'm gonna show you right now. Here's the time. You see something that you like, just hit me up, okay? Okay. Okay, let's check out some art. <laughs> Here's some of the work that I have that's available to show. Those two are both four by fours. Pretty big ones, take up a lot of space. Probably have like total, maybe like a dozen canvas that are all around that size. So we're gonna work with what we got, but we also got some white canvas there ready to paint. So we're gonna dive into that just to beef up the collection. Pricing art is tricky. You gotta consider the size. How much time did you spend on it? Is the concept strong? Is the image visually dynamic? For me, larger works like these are gonna cost about 70 cents to a dollar a square inch. So pause the video on something you like and use the two foot measure tape to estimate the cost. So at this point in time, there's probably like 10 or 11 days before I really need to install these exhibits. That's about enough time for two or three paintings. I'll shut up now and get down to it.
All right, everybody, I just finished up this owl, and really quick, I want to show you how I attached the hanging hardware on the back so we can hang it in the venue. All right, here we go. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna double check that this is in fact the top. It is. Fucked that up before. We're just gonna kind of eyeball a third. Usually you would measure with one of these, but I actually, for medium paintings, I'll use my hand as a measurement. Something like that. We'll put it right up in there. Okay, cool. So our holes are piloted. That is recommended so that you don't strip your little tiny screws. They're really easy to strip. I don't know if this thing has autofocus or not. Anyway, you need one of those for each side and a little triangle ring or a D-ring, something like that. And then of course your impact driver, different than a drill, which looks like this. I want this for the screws. And I have this, a poke proof Protector. You slide it up under there just in case when you're screwing this in, you go whoops. You hit that instead of punching through the fabric. Nice and snug. Time for the wire. That's what it looks like. Really nice stuff. Museum quality. Heavy duty. 25 pounds. You're gonna put it through the first one, maybe a few inches. Tie a knot. Start uh, whirling it around. Nice and tight. Something like that. Another few inches past. You gotta have a little bit of room here so you can get your hand back there to hang it. You don't want it to be super tight, but you don't want it to be loose as hell up in here. So I like to do just the light squeeze, a couple, couple knuckles lengths. The tighter you make these little twisty, the sexier it looks. All right, and there you have it. It's as simple as that, folks. That's all you need to know about that. And you hang it up, it's ready to go. Ready for the show. All right, everybody, we got the car loaded and we are ready to go to Columbia. Oh yeah, Jackie's looking good. Full of art. Just full of it. Jackie, she's full of it. Both of these shows will be installed through May, so if you're in central Missouri, make sure you check them out. They're much better in person. My double booked dilemma turned out not to be as bad as I thought. Both venues had other artists showing with me, and they were super chill about the mix up. Thank you, Dogmaster Distillery. Thank you, Last Flight Brewing Company. And thank you for watching. Here are the new pieces that I made for the shows. And I even snuck in this third one when you weren't looking. All right, that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram. Ah!